hello everyone welcome back to coding stuff and in the last part of we have completed our authentication and in this part we will implement our the list fragment so in this uh, list fragment will show the different phases so let me just close this and i'll open the fragment list okay this one so as you can see we have added the recycler view here so we need uh, to create one xml for each layout or each item so yeah and in the list fragment i'll just delete this all stuff that we don't require okay so first of all just let's just click on the layout create new layout resource file and i'll name it as each quiz okay and We'll set the width to let's keep it a wrap content and then inside this we'll add on card view so card view it will be width will be match parent and this will be height will be wrap content and we'll add some elevation to it card elevation and let's add 8 dp here and then we will add some corner radius to it of 6 dp i guess okay and inside this again we will add one constraint layout this will be match parent and match parent and inside this we will have an image view so the width will be match parent and height will be 190 dp let's give it an id of quiz image list and we'll set the scale type to center crop and okay then we'll drag add one text view which will be wrap content and wrap content let's provide uh, any dummy text so i'll write c programming let's uh, increase the size to 20 sp or maybe 18 sp text color to black and let's set the textile to bold and also the id so the id will be quiz a title list and yeah that's pretty much stuff that we will have so yeah, let's just constrain them so the image will be oriented in parent and to the top and then the top of this will be constrained to bottom of our image and we'll just pick some stuff okay so now it's cool and horizontal here let's just add some margin of 24 or maybe 16 will be fine and from the top 16 let's just constrain to the bottom as well okay and let's just provide some margin from bottom as well so yeah that looks pretty fine to me now it will do uh, we'll add some margin in here so layout margin of 10 dp i guess and we need to constrain this one so yeah and lastly we will give id to it to the constraint layout so we can identify which item has been clicked so i'll name it as a constraint layout okay and so yeah this look uh, fine to me now what we'll do to implement this uh, each quiz in the cycle view what we need to do we will need to create one adapter class and we need to create one module class but before that uh, let's add some data in firebase database as well so just open your our firebase project and first of all we'll add some images to our storage so yeah let's just click on the upload file and i have downloaded some images from the internet 
so I'll, I'll select all of this and I'll say select open so this is how we'll upload the images to firebase storage so yeah we could have created a new folder for storing these images but yeah we will we'll not using a storage lot we'll just use it to store these images so yeah now what we need to do i'll open Fire, Fire Store database and a new link new tab sorry so for the first time uh, just click on the create database and it will be it will create a database for you so yeah uh, now i'll just click on the start collection and i'll name this as quiz click on the next i'll generate the random document and we will have first the title so i'll name it as c programming and then and then we will have the image so for the image what we can do we'll click on this c programming image and then click on the file location and copy this access token and I will paste it over here. Okay. Then uh, the number of questions. This will be number. And we'll add 10 questions. So yeah. Then difficulty. Let's just set it to easy. And yeah, that pretty much stuff that we will be having. So I'll click on the save. So yeah, now for other remaining quiz, quizzes, so similarly this will be title and make sure your the field name should be exactly same as the previous quiz field name. So because of with the help of this field we will access the data inside that document. So yeah. Then for the C++. So yeah, now I'll just pause the video. I hope you understand how, how we can add the data. So yeah. So yeah, I have added all the quizzes. So now we need to close the storage. So yeah. So at the first, uh, I'll create another folder or package, and I'll name it as a model. And inside this, we will have one Java class that name will be quiz plus model. Done okay. And inside this class, uh, we'll have three variables. So first will be the document ID, or let's name it as a quiz ID. And we need to annotate it by document ID coming from Firebase Firestore. Then we'll create Fire string title. Make sure that uh, this title name and your field name should exactly match, or it will not fetch the data. Then we have the image and we have the difficulty as well. Then we'll create one long variable for our questions. So yeah, so now we will create one empty constructor. First we'll create the constructor with all the parameters. And then we'll create one empty constructor for Firebase. Okay, then we'll generate the getters and setters for all the variables and click on OK. So yeah, our model class is ready. Now we need to create one adapter. So click on the pack. We'll create a new package for adapter as well. So adapter. And inside the adapter, we will have one Java class. We'll name it as a quiz list adapter. And this will extend to recycle view dot adapter and let just create in a class and this will extend to view holder we'll press alt enter to implement the constructor i need to delete these annotations and then we need to pass that view folder class in here so quiz list view folder and press alt enter to implement the three methods that we get passed 
get rid of the annotations of ZBrush. So first of all, we'll create one list of quiz list model. Let us name it as a quiz list model. Then in on create view folder, we'll inflate the layout. So view equals to layout inflator dot from we need to pass in the context here. So parent dot get context dot inflate r dot layout dot each quiz. And then the parent uh, attached to root will be false and then at the last semicolon so instead of returning null we will return new quiz list view holder and here we need to pass the view so yeah and then inside the get item count we'll use our list and we'll check its size so yeah then in inner class so we have one text view that is title and we have one image view as quiz image and we will find its id over here so title equals to item view dot find your id r dot id dot quiz let us check it in the each quiz. So this one is the quiz title list and quiz image list. Okay. So quiz title list and for our quiz image. Quiz image list. Yeah, this one. So now in the on bind view folder, quiz list models instance, let's name it as a model. And then we'll call our quiz list model list dot get and we'll pass in the position. Then we'll call our folder dot title dot set text. And in here we have we need to pass model dot get title. And then for image, we need to use uh, third party library that is glide so search for glide android click on this link and copy these two dependencies and we need to paste it in the build.cradle module that is app level and click on the sync now so yeah it is synced so now we'll write glide dot width. You need to pass holder dot item view dot root the image URL. So model dot get image dot into our target is holder dot quiz image and that's it. So that's it for the adapter class. Again, what we can do, we can create one setup for this variable. So click on the generate create and set up click on okay so yeah now what we will do we we'll just create this one so yeah that's pretty much stuff now what we need to do we'll close this all we will click on the repository and i'll create another repository and i'll name it as a quiz list repository We'll write our queries and we'll fetch data in this class. So as I already mentioned what a repository class is, it's just an abstraction over the database. So we will uh, retrieve and we'll whatever the database queries, we will do that in this repository class. So the motto of this class is to get the data of the queries and it will send to the view model means we will retrieve that data or fetch the data from the view model class and then uh, from view model class we'll get that data into the views so yeah first of all we need to create one firebase fasto instance we just name it as a firebase fasto and then what we'll do we'll create one collection reference we'll just name it as a reference 
uh, this will be equals to firebase sorry this will be equals to firebase faster dot collection and our collection name was quiz the same column so again we can check it in the faster so yeah it is quiz in here so the same name over here so now what we'll do uh, we'll create one method to get the data so let this name it public void get a quiz data and will not pass anything here so in here we'll write our reference dot kit and we'll add on complete listener to it so new on complete listener and I'll, I'll provide the same column i need to delete this annotation and here we'll check if the task is successful we'll have one else so to handle uh, the success and failure listener what we can do we can create one interface and let's just create one interface over here public interface and we'll name it as on fasto task complete we'll have two methods here one for the success and one for the failure so i don't need to write parenthesis over here so yeah let's just uh, create two methods so void with data load or data loaded and here we'll pass in the list of quiz list model and let's just name it as quiz list model and then same column and then one for on error here we'll, here we'll pass in the exception and then same column okay so let's just uh, create one reference of it at the top so private on fast task complete on fast task complete and also we will create constructor of this class in where we will pass in the on fast task complete and we'll set that to and we'll set that to our class variable so equals to on pass to task complete then in else uh, what we can do we'll just call this on pass to task complete dot on error and here we need to pass the task dot get exception and then same column so yeah if the task is successful what we can do we'll write on pass to task complete dot will we'll call another method that is quiz data loaded and in here what we need to pass task dot get result dot two objects and here we need to pass in the class so the our model class name is quiz list model dot class and this will be happy i'll just keep it in the next line so you can see it clearly so uh, okay we need to initialize this one as well so firebase pastor dot get instance and this will be happy so that pretty much stuff for this part in the next part we'll create one view model class and we'll we'll get the data from repository into the view model class and then later we will deliver that data to views so we can display that in the list fragment so yeah that's it do subscribe and thank you for watching